Guys, it's Tony with Backwoods Biker Magazine and also Wood Tramp Outdoors. Uh, we just did a review on the March 2020 Battle Box Mission 61. Uh, and we dropped that video yesterday and probably at least 15 emails have came in since then asking us a couple questions about the box. One of the questions uh, that was frequented was our opinion of the Spyderco uh, knife and also what we are going to do with our little watertight case that came in there. I'll show you what I've done, so hang tight. Welcome back. I uh, wanted to tighten up the shot so you can get a great look at what we're doing here. This is the watertight case that came in Battle Box Mission number 61. It has 1199 value on it. Uh, and, you know, we were trying to figure out what we were going to do with this. And it just so happens it also fell uh, during the time that I was wanting to replace my old uh, fire kit, which is nothing but a, a tin. You know, it's a larger tin, it's not the Altoid size. But uh, I've never really cared for this because of the fact that it has this plastic window in it. It's very, very flimsy and it never failed me, but I was always concerned that it would. So I've been looking for something else to use for my main fire kit. And lo and behold, this case come in uh, and we started toying around with this case. And I thought, man, this would make a great case for a fire kit if my two lighters could fit into it. Uh, actually three lighters that I, I take out with me uh, in this particular kit. But this is it. Uh, and you can see it has the word up there because I want to open it up with this faced up. Okay. Before I open it up on the back side, I have got duct tape with Gorilla Tape, two different types of sail needles. One is uh, the half moon shape and the other one is the number two cell needle there you know so just in case I need that and I have used these before and as always you know you got duct tape it can be used as a tinder or a fire extender so uh, let's just open this up for you so you can see what exactly is on the inside of this alright first of all we'll start off over here uh, and um, I always have a cigar lighter and the reason I have cigar lighters you've heard me say this before that unlike a Bic lighter whenever you light this and you put this down like that, that flame is directed down unlike a Bic lighter. Now I do carry a Bic lighter. This happens to be from Exotech, this uh, fire sleeve that keeps your lighter dry and waterproof. But, you know, the disadvantage of it is when you go to put it down like this, it's going to lick up and burn your finger. You know, you got to be very, very careful uh, in, a, in, in order for this to work right for you. But I do use this lighter um, as a uh, source. And also we have the Exotac Titan Light right here. And this is a, a, a butane, not a butane, but an actual uh, Zippo style fuel. Uh, but uh, it's, it's a great little uh, uh, redundant fire source that we have learned to love this dude. And Exotac has did everything they can to make sure like un, uh, or the conventional type of liquid fuel lighters that you find in a Zippo, it doesn't leak out of here, it doesn't evaporate out of here. That was filled six months ago, it's no exaggeration, and it is still doing well. The other thing that I have in this compartment is some fatwood sticks. Got a couple fatwood sticks, it's plenty to make fat or a fire with if you need it. Okay, now that we have this opened up, the way that this came was like this it had that little gizmo in there as well you know neat little case there but the lighters would not fit in there so what we did was we worked with this and we got it taken out and now we're able to put all of our lighters in here on this side and the fat wood so we've got one two three ignition sources that are inside of this kit uh, and if someone is asking, well, where is the ferro rod? That ferro rod, I have two, three, four ferro rods that I carry with me at all time when I'm out in the bush. One is on my hip in my knife sheath. Another one is in my uh, haversack, which is a larger one. Uh, and then I do have two more that are uh, either on a keychain or are 
packed away inside the pack itself. So we have plenty of ferro rods. Let's look at this other side. Now this particular type of um, container has well, you know, some of the stuff that I got in here is holding the dude down. Yeah. Doesn't want to come open very well because it's sticking. So I'll have to get a knife or something to open that up. But anyway, let's just go on with this. And I'm sure it's this uh, wood tramp gear fire cake here. But there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different fire tenders in here. One is the wood tramp gear fire cake that burns in the rain, anything. Another is some cotton uh, that's mixed with some jute and some other little uh, pieces of debris that make it burn quick. We have wood tramp gear bush butter that acts like in a fire extender. If you would take any type of piece of wood and you will rub it with this uh, wood tramp gear bush butter, it will extend the fire. It'll also help it to ignite. Uh, and then off in this little tray right here is fatwood shavings mixed with bush butter, mixed with some of the debris off of a uh, wood tramp gear fire cake. Uh, and then in this particular um, area right here, I'm going to go ahead and try to open that with this. Yeah, there it goes. I may have sprung the spring. I don't. I don't really know. But yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you got to see that there. But it was sticking on this stuff right here. Uh, here you've got some more small fatwood sticks. Uh, I always keep a little bit of duct tape in in these fire kits because these are great fire extenders. Help you start to fire. Uh, this is some type of uh, shavings with. I don't know if it's got paraffin in it or or what, but it it burns like crazy. Uh, I don't know the company that made that. Somebody submitted that to us, uh, and we've been just playing around with it to see if it works, and it does work. Uh, and of course, here is our favorite again: Wood Tramp Gears Fire Survival Fire Cakes. You can go out on woodtrampgear.com, and you can see the fire cakes. You can see the bush butter. You can see everything that we make for Wood Tramp Gear. But that's it right there. This is what we're doing with our our little uh, plastic kit from Battle Box. Um, and here's here's a great tip for you right here. This kit is found in the basic level of Mission 61. The basic level costs you $29.99. It is a very, very good bargain. Not only do you get this particular kit, but you also get a pair of Calcutta sunglasses with a uh, metal lanyard that attaches to the sunglasses, and you also get uh, let me tell you right now, I got that box sitting right here. Here it is. You get the Tech New uh, Outdoor Skin Cleanser. Keeps you safe from poison ivy and, and poison oak. And it also comes with this note pair of sunglasses. They're polarized. They're nice. These are going to go on my bike. They're going to I've been looking for a way to change my old ones out. But that's that's what I did. Okay, so for $29.99, you can buy this entire basic kit from BattleBox. And you're going to get everything you need there. Plus, you're going to get this little orange kit. Now, again, some guys are doing fire kits. Some guys are doing fishing kits. Some guys are doing IFAC kits. You know, for me, it was a perfect time because this joker here was getting ready to give up the ghost. All right, hope that helps out. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you watching. As always, you ride free, you live free. You be safe out there, especially now that that coronavirus is sneaking around our towns.